The world through different eyes, perception, reality, and the mystery of the apple. When we open our eyes to the world, we often take for granted that what we see is a direct reflection of reality. A red apple, a blue sky, a green field. These are images that seem so real, so concrete, that it's easy to assume everyone sees them the same way. But what if the world doesn't look the same to everyone? What if the apple that appears red to you looks completely different to someone else, or even to another species? This question challenges the very nature of perception, raising profound implications about how we experience and understand the world around us. The limitations of human perception. Human vision is an extraordinary gift, allowing us to navigate, interpret and appreciate the world. However, our eyes are just one of many possible sensory systems that can detect and interpret the environment. Human eyes perceive light within a narrow range of the electromagnetic spectrum, what we call visible light. This is just a small slice of the spectrum, which includes ultraviolet, UV light, infrared, IR light, radio waves and X-rays, among others. Creatures such as bees, birds and some fish can see UV light, revealing patterns on flowers or the plumage of birds that are invisible to us. To these creatures, the world looks vastly different. If human eyes are limited in this way, it raises an intriguing question. How much of reality are we actually perceiving? Could there be colors, patterns, or even entire dimensions of experience that we're missing? The thought is both humbling and exhilarating. It suggests that our experience of the world is but one version of reality, tailored to the specific needs and capabilities of our species. Seeing the world differently, species-specific perception, Different species have evolved to see the world in ways that are uniquely suited to their survival. For instance, a mantis shrimp has one of the most complex visual systems in the animal kingdom, with up to 16 types of photoreceptor cells compared to the three types humans have. This allows the mantis shrimp to detect a much broader range of colors, including UV and polarized light. To a mantis shrimp, an apple might not only look completely different, but might also have properties or colors that we can't even imagine. On the other hand, many mammals, such as dogs and cats, have dichromatic vision, meaning they see the world primarily in shades of blue and yellow. To your dog, that vibrant red apple might appear as a dull brownish-yellow object, hardly resembling the bright fruit you perceive. These examples illustrate that perception is not a straightforward mirror of the world, but is instead a highly subjective experience shaped by the biology of the perceiver. This brings us to a deeper philosophical question. How do we know that the way I see the world is the same as the way you see it. The intersubjective nature of perception. When we look at an apple and agree that it's red, we assume we are seeing the same thing. But this agreement is based on shared language and social constructs, not on a direct comparison of sensory experiences. The color red, as you perceive it, might evoke a different sensation in someone else's mind. But since we've both been taught to call this sensation red, we'll never know the difference. This is known as the problem of inverted qualia, a philosophical concept that questions whether subjective experiences, qualia, are the same for everyone. For example, imagine if what you see as red actually appears as what you would describe as green to someone else, but because they have always called that experience red, neither of you would ever know. This possibility challenges our assumptions about shared reality and underscores the subjective nature of perception. The reality of the apple. So what does the apple really look like? The truth is there may be no single answer to that question. The apple has a reality independent of any observer, consisting of its physical properties like shape, mass and chemical composition. However, the way it appears, its color, texture and even its appeal depends entirely on the observer. To a human, it might be a shiny red fruit, to a dog, a drab yellowish brown snack, and to a mantis shrimp, a kaleidoscope of colors we can't even comprehend. This realization invites us to consider that reality is not a single objective entity but rather a complex interplay of different perceptions. The world is not just what it seems to our eyes. It is a rich, multifaceted place that reveals itself differently depending on who or what is looking. Conclusion, embracing the mystery. Understanding that our perception of the world is just one of many possible versions opens up a world of possibilities. It encourages us to be humble in our assumptions and to appreciate the mystery and diversity of experiences that exist beyond our human senses. The next time you look at an apple, or anything else for that matter, remember, what you see is not the whole story. It's merely one perspective in a vast, complex and infinitely varied universe of perceptions. If you found this video thought-provoking, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to dive deeper into more fascinating topics like this, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. 
Your support helps us bring you more content that challenges the way you see the world.